Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Curious Face Array plugin in SketchUp. So let's get started. So as you can see, I have created some faces in the drawing area and a single component right here. You can download this Curious Face Array plugin from the 3D Warehouse and Curious of your page, which is absolutely free to use. Okay, now let's open the Face Array dialog box. To use this plugin, first step you need to select a single component or group and now click on this array object. Now the only thing you have to do is click on the face where you want to create an array. See we got the preview. And here we got three options, trim, overlap and inside. On this face I'm going to use the trim option. And if you satisfy with the result, you can hit the enter or double click on the empty space. Okay, as you can see, we got the face array. Now select this another component and click on array object. And let's select the face where you want to create another type of face array. And now choose second option, which is over left. Now hit the enter or click on the empty space. Okay, we got the another type of over left face array. I don't think you're gonna use this types of array, uh, which is also not useful. Okay, let's jump into another type of array and select this component and click on array object and select this face again. Now choose inside and hit enter or double click on the empty space. Okay, we got the last type of array, uh, which is quite awful. So personally, I'm going to use this first type of face array, which will be very useful in our project. Okay. Now let me tell you the other option in this dialog box. Suppose you want to add space in between these component, you can do it from right here. Now let's select this group or component first and click on edit layout. Okay, let's add a space in from right here. Let's put it any more you want. I'm going to put 5 inch. So as you can see, we got the space along the X direction. And if you want to add space along the Y direction, do not do it from right here because it will measure differently. Uh, you must uh, add space in right here for Y is it? I mean along Y is it? So as you can see, we got the Y space in too. Okay, that's pretty good. And if you want to rotate the component, you can do it from right here. Let's put it 30 degree. Okay, we got the face array, uh, which is inclined 30 degree from the X direction. Now hit enter. And if you are not satisfied with the result, you can start this layout and edit this anytime. Okay. Now let's use this face array plugin on this house. So first step select this component and click on array object and click on this face and hit enter. Okay, we got very beautiful face array on this face. By using this plugin, we can add detail more precisely. Okay, now let's do this one more time. Select this component and click on array object. And let's click on this face. Okay, here we can move this uh, object by uh, moving this gizmo, as you can see. And if you satisfy with the result, you can hit enter. Now let's do it one more time on this face. Now let's use this on the roof and ground.
Okay, that's all guys. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe my channel. See you in the next tutorial.